Later on in the afternoon, we went to Haley's fencing practice, and on the way home, she refused to listen to her mum and turn off her MP3 player. Are you listening to your MP3 player? Haley, do you have your headphones on? Haley, you need to take them out because I told you not to put them in. Did you hear me, Haley? You need to take the earphones out. Haley started to slap her hand to tell her to get off and leave her alone. That the mere fact that these kids think it's okay to hit their mother is, is beyond me. When we get home, I am taking them away. Don't scratch me. Ouch, do not scratch me. When Haley scratched at me, I felt frustrated in the car. I didn't feel like I could effectively discipline her. So why do you choose not to do anything about your daughter hitting you? Well, not for the hitting, obviously. You then know. what do you do then? Because she's just done it. I guess I didn't do anything. Mum doesn't put her foot down and discipline the kids when she needs to. And so there's no roping these kids in when they become out of hand. I mean, when I punish Haley, I try to take away her things. I have unplugged her TV. I have also tried it to tie it to their allowance. A dollar a day for good behavior. I thought this was silly. If you pay the girls to be good, then they're only going to be good for a price. She thought, well, maybe if we tie the behavior to their spending money, then it would be more of an incentive for them to treat each other kindly. Because they're always wanting me to buy them things. So now they only perform if they're paid? Yeah. There's a lot of sibling rivalry going on between Haley and Cameron. They're only two and a half years apart, and they compete for our attention. Leave me alone! I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not strong enough. 